What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, and I'm back with another video, man. And you already know what I need you to do. Hit the subscribe, hit the like, hit the notification bell, because it does go a long way with helping out the channel, man. Listen, if this is your first time, welcome to Hold My Nuts Podcast. We talk about everything, semen retention and no fat. If you stumbled across this channel, it's no accident. I already know why you're here. You're tired of releasing on your keyboards, your laptops, your desktops. You're tired of being manipulated and dominated by female culture. You're in the right place. If you already been rocking with your boy, man, you already know the love is real. So without further ado, man, let's get into the video today. Guys, when we're dealing with women, when we're dealing with the opposite sex, when you're dealing with women, attention Attention is the ultimate currency. Attention is the ultimate currency. You have to understand that. This is basic. This is one on one. Attention is the ultimate currency, guys. It's not all your other external things, though. Those things do <clears throat> excuse me, play a factor. But your attention that you give to women is what feeds the beast. It's what feeds the beast. Everyone in this world, every company, every organization, every government entity, everyone in this world is fighting for your attention. Attention is what people crave. They want attention. Women want attention because that attention brings validation. As a man, if you want to increase your stock, you have to control who you give your attention to, what you give your attention to. Right. If you give all of your attention to women, give all of your attention to a woman. Right. You're going to overvalidate and that woman is going to lose interest in you. Right. Attention is something that you must reserve for yourself. And if somebody is to get your attention, if something is to get your attention, it must be a worthy cause. It must be a worthy cause. Right. And that goes for any aspect of your life. Whatever you are giving your attention to, make sure it's a worthy call. Make sure it's worthy of your attention. Now, this comes back to self development. How do you view yourself? Right. How do you view yourself? Because how you view yourself has a big role to play in who you give your attention to, what you give your attention to. Right. If you respect yourself, if you love yourself, if you hold yourself in high regard, then it's going to be harder for things to get your attention. Right. You also have to have a moral compass. You have to be able to discern between good and evil and decide what is worthy of your attention based off of the principles that you live by, the principles that you're willing to die by. Attention is the ultimate currency. Without attention, nothing gets done. Without attention, companies can't survive. Without attention, women will self-destruct. Without attention, no one <laughs> wins. Attention is what everyone is seeking. Social media. It's all about attention. But you have the power to control who and what you give your attention to. Will you give your attention to? To porn, will you give your attention to a plethora of different women just for the sake of validating them? Because you validate them and you don't get nothing in return. You don't get anything in return, but you validate them. How precious is your attention that you just give it away as freely as you give away your seed? Not only should you be retaining your seed, you should be retaining your attention. We might have to start a whole new subcategory called attention retaining. I'd be I'd be really surprised if that actually popped off. I really would. But you never know. But you need to retain your attention 
Don't give your attention to these women. Don't give your attention to porn. Don't give your attention to things that will not give you an equal um, value for exchange. Don't do it, man. If you give these women all of your attention, bro, you're basically just giving yourself away. Because your attention costs. There's a price for your attention, right? It, your attention is valuable. If you stop paying attention to something or someone, the power that they have goes down. The more attention you feed any person or anything, that thing gets more and more powerful. It has more and more control over your mind because you're giving it attention. You are feeding the beast. A lot of you guys are simping because your attention is just being given away for free. You're prostituting yourself by just freely giving away your attention. Your attention and your focus should first be garnered around God and yourself and your goals, your dreams, your aspirations, what it is that you're doing, your purpose in life. What is that? That's where your attention should be. Your attention should be on your family, on your kids, the things that are important. When you take your precious attention, because your attention is also integrated into time. Your attention is time and time is the most valuable commodity. Attention and time go hand in hand. They're inseparable. You can't have one without the other. Attention, attention to these Sexual things, these things that will lead you down a horrific path that will destroy your life, that will destroy your finances, that will destroy your families. Attention is a valuable, valuable currency. When you're dealing with women, man, you're giving them your attention. You're giving them your power. The more attention you give them, the stronger they become, the weaker you become. Because they're not giving you their attention because they're garnering attention from you. They're garnering attention from every other male that thinks they're attractive for every one woman. You can get a woman can get 10 dudes. That's just how it is. And the reason for that is because men are naturally aggressive. We like to go out and conquer. We're not going to sit around and wait for a woman to approach. We're going to go out. We're going to try to get as many women as we can. That's, that's what society, um, you know, that's what society uh, paints. Right. That, that's that's just how it is. But by nature, as a man, that's what we are. We go out, we hunt. And if we like something, we see something, we're going to go out and get it. So that's the reason why women can sit back and have way more options than a good looking dude. An average woman can have way more options for sex than an actually really good looking man because of the way men and women are built. Men are built to be aggressive. The testosterone, <clears throat> the testosterone in us is what drives us, drives, drives us to go and conquer and do things. So that's how you know that your attention is valuable. You get to decide where your attention goes. And where your attention goes is going to be an indication of where your life is going. Where your attention goes is an indication of where your life is going. If you're focusing your attention on things that mean nothing, that's where your life is going. If you're focusing your attention on harlots, that's where your life is going. The Bible says they are going to lead you into the depths of hell. If you are focusing your attention on negative energy, negative women always coming at you, always degrading you, always trying to emancipate you. If you if you if you are um, putting your attention and giving your valuable time to these things, your life is going to be brittle with thorns and thistles. You need to keep your mind on God. Keep your mind on yourself. Keep your mind on expanding yourself. Keep your mind on progressing. Keep your mind on all of these things, because the more attention you give to a woman unnecessarily, the less of a man you're becoming, the less masculine you're becoming. 
It proves that you have no purpose. You have no goals. You have no drive. It proves that God is not the center of your universe. But this woman or these women or your sexual appetite or porn or whatever it is, is the center of your universe. What you focus your attention on, that is your God. That is your idol. That is your the center of your world, the center of your universe. Whatever you focus your attention on, that is what you worship. That is what you bow down to. That is what you succumb to. And everything that comes to you as a result of whatever it is you're focusing on, you deserve it. Because you are giving your attention that you own to these things. Attention, guys, is the ultimate currency with women and with everything else in life. If you if you ever notice if. You know, we have these times in our lives where we might have a problem or issue and we might decide because we're fed up. You know what, man? I'm just not even going to pay this no more attention. As the days go by, you see the power that that thing had as a result of your detention. The power of it starts to go down. The voice of it in your in, in the back of your head starts to get quieter and quieter and quieter because you are not giving attention to it. Now, the thing that you was giving attention to now, it is um, actively seeking your attention aggressively because it wants your attention. Right. It wants your attention. Because you took it away. It feeds off of your attention. Instagram feeds off of the attention of men. If we didn't give our validation and our attention to these Instagram models and things of that nature and we said we wanted this rather than that, it would change. If we wanted more modest women on Instagram and that's what would garner a like on Instagram, then women would be more modest. But obviously, based off of statistics, based off of what we see currently, this is not what men want. Men want these women to be half dressed, half naked because they want to lust after them. That's the lust driving them. And women have to understand something, too. Men are attracted to that from a visual perspective, Instagram, TikTok. But that's not the type of woman they really want. They don't want their woman to be out there like that. Right. So that's just to feed the lust, to feed the beast. Right. That's just so these guys can extract their seed because they don't care about their seed. They don't care about the power that uh, it provides. They don't care about the seed. So they discard it. Keyboards, laptops, desktops, you know, the drill. TV screens, flat screens, plasma screens, splattering everywhere, anywhere. Drop tops, stove tops, black tops don't matter. That's what happens when you're driven by lust. Your attention goes everywhere except for where it's supposed to go. Guys, learn to control what you give your attention to. Don't give your attention away for free. Make sure it's a worthy cause. Make sure it's worthy of your attention. Notice, notice what I'm saying. Make sure that it's worthy of your attention. That means you're the center of this. If it's not worthy of your attention, don't give your attention to it. Don't fall into these traps. Don't give your attention to women unnecessarily. Keyword unnecessarily let me say this again key word unnecessarily i'm not saying go out there and completely ignore women 100 percent. what i'm saying is don't give your attention to them unnecessarily that's going to cause a stumbling block or a roadblock or a hindrance in your life that's going to cause you to be mentally frustrated aggravated that's going to prevent you from being able to do what it is you really need to be doing and focusing on your attention is valuable. Your attention is money. If, if you don't believe it, you wonder why advertisers pay all this money for your attention. 
Your attention is valuable. I'm seeking your attention right now doing this YouTube video. But ask yourself, is it valuable? Is it is it valuable for me to focus my attention on this? Will I get something out of it? If so, hit the like button for your boy. Because I'm trying to help you. I'm trying to help you understand that what you focus your attention on, you should be getting something of um, equal value in exchange because your attention is valuable. Your time is valuable. So make sure whatever you're focusing on is going to implant in you something that's going to help you, not frustrate you, not hinder you, not throw you off of your path. This is the key to being a success. This is the key to making your dreams come true. Focus your attention on the things you need to focus on. When I finish doing this video, I'm going to focus my attention on some things I need to focus on because I need to focus on these things. I'm not focusing my attention on a woman. I'm not focusing my attention on no porn. I'm not focusing my attention on any of that. I'm cutting this camera off and I'm getting to the grind again and again and again and again. Because those other things, they never brought me what they promised. They never brought me satisfaction. They never uh, fulfilled me. They never did any of that. The only thing they did was take my energy away, made me feel shame about the things I was doing. They took my dignity away, had me acting crazy and doing all kind of stupid and just just dumb things. That's what happens when you focus your attention on these these worthless, worthless things guys retain not only your seed but retain your attention it is valuable and you will start to see the power that you really have people will be coming to you coming to you coming to you coming to you asking for your attention but they don't have to ask for attention if you just freely give it away to everybody you just say hey, everybody who wants your attention, you just give you just give your attention to it. Any problem you have, you just focus your attention all on it. No, you decide where your attention goes and where your attention goes is going to decide where your life goes. This is whole my nuts podcast. I'm always here to prevent you from releasing on the keyboards, the laptops and the desktops. I'm here to protect TV screens, plasma screens, flat screens. I'm here to protect these things because the warranty does not protect these keyboards from the splattering. Man, this is whole my nuts podcast, man. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like it, comment, subscribe. Let me know what's good, man. I'm gonna holler at y'all.